Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And I wanted to show a couple examples of disc herniations. And I have this patient that was completely normal. It's a perfect MRI lumbar spine. And the next two have disc herniations. And first I'm going to start off with the anatomy. And then I'll go on to the other examples. So this is a normal exam. We see these vertebral bodies are the squares here. These are bones. And between the bones, we see these horizontal bands. These are the intervertebral discs. They act as the cushions or shock absorbers so the bones don't rub together. And in the back here, we see this bright area. This is a fluid within the spinal canal. And these discs, again, should be contained between the vertebral bodies. They should not go back behind this line here. So now we're going to go to an example of a disc herniation. And this person, they're almost exactly the same age, pretty young, both of them. And this patient has a disc herniation here between L4 and L5. And now we see the disc, instead of being bright, whenever the discs degenerate or start to herniate, they become dark. They lose their fluid signal. And you can see this disc went all the way back here into the spinal canal. So the spinal canal, instead of being wide open and filled with fluid, right here is completely narrowed. All the nerves are getting pinched within that spinal canal. So it's a very large central disc herniation. This will cause back pain. And when the spinal canal is narrowed like this, they'll even have weakness in both legs. They had a smaller disc protrusion here, a type of disc herniation, but you can see how there's still room for the nerves to go through the spinal canal here. Now I'll show you one last example from today. So this is another patient, almost the same age as the last two, pretty young again. And we see these vertebral bodies. We see the discs here in between. And we see something extra here. You have a disc herniation that's squirted outwards and going down like toothpaste, going down into the spinal canal. The last patient had one that was straight at the disc level. This one has uh, extruded out and gone downward. And again, this fills the spinal canal here on the right-hand side and causes severe narrowing of the spinal canal and pinching of the nerve roots. I'll put up a view like this that will show the disc herniation from a short axis view. So I'll start up high through a normal disc. Here's the disc. Here's the central spinal canal with the nerves. These little things are the nerves. And we're going to go down now to the abnormal one. We're going down, down, down. Now we're getting into it. And there it is. This is the disc herniation that squirted out, squirted out and gone down into the spinal canal. And here it is right here. So a couple examples of disc herniations. Back to the nice normal one here in these young patients. And thank you very much.